Hey, we're showing you Chew approved weekend eats. Welcome back to the Chew. All right, so our first guest grew up before our very eyes on the hit show Full House. Yeah. Now she's back for more in the hilarious new show Fuller House. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't give her a round of applause, I'll only have one thing to say. How rude. <laughs> give it up for Jody Sweeten. It is so great to have you here. Oh, well, thank you. I'm looking forward to this. I feel like I watched you uh, grow up. You know, you started, I feel like I knew you're the same age as my little sister, Courtney, who, uh -huh. by the way, to this day, still says, how rude. Um, oh, so well, So you've good. had an influence over my family's life. But how are you doing? You went through a little bit of a rough patch. I did, yep. I did. And I, you know, walked away from the business for a little bit and, and sort of had, you know, what I call my normal life. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm back getting to do what I love, and it's Yay. an amazing experience. Good for you. Yeah. And I hear that you're recently engaged. I am. Congratulations. I am. I'm engaged and very happy. How's the wedding planning coming along? I have not even begun to touch that <laughs> really? yet. They, like, my life is so busy right now. I want to be able to like really devote time to that. Uh -huh. So I'm going to give it a little bit of time until I can, you know, okay. plan things the way I Your want. Your fiance is cool with that, though? Yeah, he's totally fine with it. What's yeah. he like? He is he in the is, biz, as they always ask? No, he's not actually. He's not. Um, he's, you know, completely normal. We've uh, had been friends for a really long time. <laughs> and, um, well, yeah. I love it. Is he in the business? No, he's completely normal. No, he's normal. completely yeah. normal, right. <laughs> yeah, he's completely, yeah, he's not, not like us. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, we have fun together. We support each other. We love each other. And, and we make a really great family. Yeah, good for you. And you have two daughters, right? I do. My oldest is uh, almost eight, wow. and my little one is five. Aw, so, cool. hey, are you on the set of Full House there? Yes, we are. Oh. Full, Fuller House. Fuller House, yes. Fuller House, yeah. But that's the original couch, though, from Full House. It is. So, yes, we have been told that that couch... Um, uh, and there were two blue chairs that were in the living room were in storage for like the last you know 20 years or so oh, and uh, and they brought them out and oh. we, you know it, strangely enough we would sit on it and we're like this can't this can't be it it's way too small <laughs> and and i said well I, unfortunately i think we were a lot smaller <laughs> yeah really right <laughs> and skinnier so you know <laughs> like four of us now on the couch it's like hey move it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, so. that, that happens yeah. so, all right so because you were coming on the show today i thought that we could make a dish inspired by your fuller house hometown of san francisco it's a toasted pilaf with crab Ooh. i'm calling it i'm calling it Jode Aroni, the San oh, Francisco tree. Okay, all right, Fantastic. Great. All right, so if you want to help me out, okay. um, it's basically, it's rice and spaghetti, but you you smash up the spaghetti into okay. small pieces. So you just put it in a plastic bag and you can just, you can smash that just up. Beat it? Just beat just, it. Uh, you beat it a little bit more than that. Oh, well, I don't Jody, I get like... that aggression oh, out of here. Fine, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Is that better? Too Let's much? See. No, no. Yeah, let's just, there just we go. do that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now you can take the right. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil in the pan here. Okay. And can you give me a little pat of butter in there All as well? All right. And then we put in our spaghetti okay. and some rice. Okay. And then if you'll give that a little bit of a stir for sure. me, that'll be awesome. Because this is an important step for you because what you want to do is really brown the spaghetti and brown the rice a little bit because it has this really great nutty flavor when you do that. Mm -hmm. But of course you don't want to burn it because then it would suck. Okay, great. All right. There you go. Just like no so. No burning. And take am, I, your time. am I avoiding burning so far? Yeah, you're doing great. Okay, good. Okay. Nothing's on fire, so that's a plus. <laughs> it is. Great. So far we're doing fantastic. Okay. All right, so do you oh. ever cook at home like this? Uh, you know what? I cook a little. Oh, our butter's sticking. Uh, I cook a little bit, but my fiance is actually the the real cook of our house. We do like big Sunday dinners at our uh -huh. house with all of our friends and do game night, and oh. he makes homemade Italian food, homemade chicken parm. Oh, you got yourself a nice Italian. I boy. half Italian, yeah. So it comes in handy. He he makes amazing food. All right, awesome. All right, so once we get that to okay. this, let's trade places right okay, here. Down. I'll do that for you. Okay. So you see, this is the color you're looking for here. Okay, nice, great. beautiful sort of golden brown. And okay. then we're going to sort of deglaze with some white wine. You can just give that a little stir as well All for right. me. All right. And then some chicken stock or some vegetable stock if you want to do that. So it's about, we're using a cup of rice and a cup of the pasta. And then we have about a cup and three quarters of liquid overall. We bring that to a gentle boil, then down to a simmer. We put a lid on it. And Jody, you just set it and forget it. Okay. All, All right. right. That's it. When we come back, we're going to fold in some fresh herbs and some jump uh, crab. Lump, 
Lump? Jumbo, Jumbo lump, lump crab. Thank you, Jumbo Lump go. Crab. Okay. I can never say that right. More <laughs> Jody, we come back. Don't go away. I heard that you still are pretty close with the original we are, cast. Yeah, we are incredibly close. We spend a lot of time together, you know, when we're not working. And uh, it's been uh, an extended family that I've gotten over now almost 30 years. I think it's wow. been, you know, like that's amazing. Years. Yeah. And you started that show when you were how old? I was five. Five? I forgot you were that <laughs> yeah. young in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, it was the age of my youngest daughter. Wow. So I look at her and I, she is just a baby and I was working, you know. Oh, good so, for you. Thank well, you. here you are now. I I love it. All right, Jody Sweeten, everybody. All right, we're going to finish up our San Francisco inspired treat. It's a toasted pilaf with crab. So far, do you think you could handle something like this? Oh, absolutely. Okay. All right, so now what I want to do, this is, a, I like this with lots of fresh herbs. Okay. So here we have tarragon, some flat leaf parsley, and some chives. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just fluff this up a little bit with a fork. And can you just sort of dump that all in here? Yeah, all of it? Yeah. All right. Great. All right, good. And then we stir this all together. And then we're going to take that jumbo lump. Crab. I've been there saying lumbo, lumbo jump is what right. I've been saying. So the jumbo lump crab gets just folded in at the last second. All right. Okay. And that's about now. You can about go now? with that. About now? Okay. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then just like that. And now if you don't like crab at home, you could really very easily make this with chicken. You would just use some cooked chicken, maybe some shredded chicken from a rotisserie chicken, and then just fold that all in. And oh, we are ready to taste. Amazing. What do you think? Oh, yes. Okay. Now, have you ever had any really crazy fan encounters? Because your show is such a crazy, like, um, hit. Yeah. You know, with a cult following. You know, I don't know that, I mean, our fans are, are pretty much, you know, families and people that have grown up with it. But every once in a while, I'll meet a fan that'll come up to me and just burst into tears, which is the sweetest, most endearing. Like, I, I, I just want to go, no, 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 stop. Don't cry. <laughs> don't cry. They're, happy. They're you know, they're like, happy. I am. And, it's, you know, I mean, these, these are people that have grown up with yeah. us and we are like a part of their lives and it's an, it's an honor to have someone be that excited. Right, and there's still reruns going, so I feel like, you and know. We've never been off the air. Since the show started almost 30 years ago, we have oh never been gosh. off the air. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I would, right. I would venture right. further and say, I think you're on 24 hours a day. In I think York. you might be. Like you know what? Everyone's worldwide, flicking around the probably channels. somewhere worldwide, we probably are. It's on all the time. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right, Amazing. gave you right. a little zap of lemon zest there oh, as yum. well. Okay. Tell me what you think. CK, this is delicious. It is really mm -hmm. good. Mm. Thank you. All right. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yay. Oh, this is great. I love it. I love this one. Mm. Uh, one more thing I want to ask you. I've also heard rumors that you might be on Dancing with the Stars the next what? season. Is that happening? Can you say? You know what? The, we had Max and Val Chmerkovsky on mm -hmm. uh, episode three of Fuller House, yep. which is a, a hilarious, and I think people are going to love it. Uh, but ever since then, that was, you know, right about the start of, I think, the last season of Dancing with the Stars yeah. and now this one. So ever since then, like, people have, you know, been throwing my name out in association with the show, which is a huge compliment. I love it. Candace was on it. So I'm kind yeah. of surrounded by, like, all of this Dancing with the Stars stuff. But, you know, it, I, I, I love the show. So it's a huge compliment to even be so talked good. about. Kind of didn't answer the question. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So do you want to play a little game? I would love to play. All right. Yay. Yes. All right. You're known for, obviously, for your famous catchphrase. How rude. Can you uh, can you hit us with a how rude right now? How rude. How rude. Yeah. There you go. Well, we want to see how well you know some other famous sitcom signatures in a game we're calling The Catchphrase That Pays. Ooh. All right, over here. All right. All right. All right. Okay, you stand right there. Okay. All right. You have 15 seconds to match five catchphrases to the sitcom characters on this wall. And the characters are Fonzie from Happy Days, Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory, we got Arnold from Different Strokes right there in the center. Steve Urkel from Family Matters. And Joey from Friends. Okay. Okay. And the catchphrases you'll be matching are Hey! How you doing? Bazinga. Did I do that? And my favorite, what you talking about, Willis? All right. And it's the phrase that pays because for every correct match, Full House superfan Alexis over there is taking home 50 bucks. Yeah. Woo! Well, Alexis, do you have any words of encouragement for Jody? You got this. Don't worry about it. We, we're going to do this we together. Got, we got it. Yes, I we're going to do you. this together. All right. There. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Have mercy. I did, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. 15 seconds on the clock. All right. Here you go. Ready? Jody, go.
you think you did pretty well? I How think, did Jody I do? Yeah, I think, think you might be on to something. All right, so let's hear Fonzie's catchphrase. Hey, hey. you got one right. Let's hear Sheldon's catchphrase. Bazinga. There you go. Let's hear Arnold's catchphrase. <laughs> Love it. I could listen to that all day. And Urkel's. Did I do that? <laughs> and Joey's. How you doing? Yay! Right. Alexis, you're going home with 250 bucks. Jody, thank you so much for being here. It's such a pleasure to meet you and have you. Don't miss Fuller House. It's on Netflix, and we'll be right back.